A couple years ago, we were down in Med Trade, which is a trade show. And me and Brian Anderson, we showed up a little bit late to this party. And when we got there, it was actually very crowded. We started saying hi to some people. We noticed that there were no low tables left. They were all high top tables. And me and another advocate uh, that goes to the dinners, Josh McDermott, he had the same chair and he had the same capability. And me and him, the whole night, were up at eye level this whole time. And we were able to cruise around. Me and Brian decide to go up to our CEO, Scott, and ask him what he thought about this idea we had for elevating and tell him, look, you know, we were able to get around and get through the crowd and it's really cool, but it would be really cool if we're able to do it at the speed of life. And it just made things so much easier and people seemed to be more receptive to us and wanted to talk to us about even our chairs or why we were in the chairs. It just seemed more acceptable. So we come back to one of these other dinners. During the conversation, what came up was that many of us there at the table already had power elevating seats, but they've been around for decades, but, but no one had really put much thought into the power elevating seats. They were painfully slow going up and down. I looked at him in the eye and I basically said it could be summed up in one word and that's speed. I mean the actuator speed just was so slow to fully elevate up and then also when you got there the driving speed was so slow that everybody was constantly waiting on you. We're sitting there telling Scott, hey, I think it would be important or we should be able to be eye level with people all the time and be able to go at the speed of life. Why can't we do that? first problem to solve was uh, how do we ensure uh, stability of the system, and um, particularly in, in the base. Well, after analyzing uh, the various methods of increasing stability, we chose the most promising method, and we began to develop prototypes using that method. Uh, our first prototypes, we used costlier methods to achieve the function, but that allowed us to test and analyze and evaluate to prove the concept and then we uh, incorporated the seating system with the elevating lift onto it. And our goal there was really to try and figure out how can we create a very safe environment in the elevated position. So really the eye level technology uh, incorporates a caster locking system and what that caster locking system allows to do is the caster arm, it decreases the amount of travel in the caster arm. And by decreasing the amount of travel in the caster arm, you increase the stability of that power base. So no matter how high up the person may be, that stability on a level surface remains. So what my job is, is to kind of help test and design new products coming out. And they like me because I just beat the crap out of them. That's my job, see what I can do, see how well they hold up, see how long they'll last. Um, it's really kind of fun, I like that. It was the Putting a person with any type of diagnosis in an elevated position going at a faster rate and just wanting to make sure that that person's going to be safe because the stability has always been an issue with elevation and speed. Also looking at the person's accessibility. Again, multiple diagnosis, multiple uses. Not everyone uses the hand controller. So what type of alternative specialty controls we needed to develop and to understand the testing criteria and making sure that person's going to be safe in that elevated position. All of a sudden, we get this product just materialized and it was like, oh my gosh, this is everything we were talking about, everything we were giving you at, at those dinners and, and you threw it all into a chair and now it's in front of me. And it was, it, it kind of blew me away because to have that kind of power at a, at a manufacturer was incredible. The final product is a cable driven system that is actuated as soon as the lift comes off its lowered position. There's lockout links to secure the suspension.
It still allows for navigation over door jams and small bumps, so you still retain the suspension with getting the security. It is a fully isolated spring-loaded system so that if something is blocking it from going into position, it will not damage the system. And then there's sensors in the system to alert you if it is not ready to go into eye level, and it still limits you to the inhibited one and a quarter miles per hour if the system isn't fully engaged. The first thing that came to my mind was empowerment, empowering the end user, providing them a, an alternative or another tool to access their activities of daily living, to um, provide that tool to allow them to make the choice of being in an elevated position safely and going walking speed, being included and not feeling um, alienated from the crowd. Opposed to the 45 the 50 seconds it took to fully elevate, um, now it's only about 16 seconds. So that's just a huge benefit to us, especially being out in some social setting with friends or family or even walking um, hand in hand with a loved one, that that walking speed is just crucial. I mean, going from about 1.2 to 3.5 miles an hour is just night and day. I just graduated from college and I was reminiscing and looking back at old photographs that I was in and I would notice myself always being seated when people were standing and things like that and I would never take notice to it until I was looking back and with the eye level I'm constantly elevated I'm constantly with people I, I I can't remember the last time I was in a photo where I was seated it just looks natural it feels natural it's really amazing to be a part of a company that listens to the consumer and listens to you they listen to consumers, or consumer-centric, if you, if you will. Um, I'm impressed.